Dutch Lady Milk Industries Berhad is a Malaysia-based company which was incorporated in 1960. It comprises a series of dairy products for the entire family. Its vision is to further strengthen its position as a leading dairy company, driving growth, and its mission is helping Malaysians move forward in life with trusted dairy nutrition. The first issue is the prices of raw material fluctuate based on the supply and demand of the market. And thus, it will affect the profit margin and revenue of the company. Secondly, it is boring for Dutch lady when the currency depreciated because they highly depend on imported raw material. Therefore, it will increase the cost of buying raw material. Lastly, Dutch lady suffer customer bad perception from product safety issue. And thus, it will affect the sales of the company even though their product meet with the food safety standards. The strength of Dutch Lady is having large market presence and strong reputation. Dutch Lady provides a wide range of quality dairy products and fruit juices as well as healthy products for all ages. Besides, Dutch Lady has a diversified board and strong cash flow over the years. The weakness of Dutch Lady is less independence of the directors. Dutch Lady has no direct market experiences as well. Besides, the price of Dutch Lady is high and it has weak financial performance. Its vision is also too reliant on superlative. Dutch Lady should grab the opportunity through business expansion to other countries and the National Plan of Action for Nutrition of Malaysia third version. Dutch Lady can also take advantage of the tremendous potential customers in the market and the advanced technology. No SSD for some essential items would benefit Dutch Lady as well. However, Dutch Lady faced some threats in its business such as low awareness of milk consumption and low birth rate and fertility rate. The company also faced incremental cost of dairy raw materials and cost of labour, as well as unfavorable foreign currency exchange rate. Known for ethos strategy, Dutch Lady is suggested to expand its business through a horizontal integration. Since Dutch Lady has large market presence and strong reputation, Dutch Lady can acquire its business related to milk products in foreign countries. Besides, we also recommend Dutch Lady to expand its brand through, through the National Plan of Action for Nutrition of Malaysia Third Version. The real strategy, Dutch Lady can boost up its performance through market development strategy. With technological and advantage and SSD extension, Dutch Lady can offer a series of products with lower price to its consumer. Dutch Lady may also partner with food delivery companies such as Running Man and Food Panda to satisfy customer demand immediately. For SD strategy, Dutch Lady can offer unique flavor like banana milk to strengthen the customer segment so that it would not be affected by the low birth rate and fertility rate issue. Also, with multi-sourcing strategy, it will reduce their major dependence on foreign supplier which will mitigate the exchange rate. W3 strategy, we suggest Dutch Lady to hedge in currency to balance off the loss incurred from the fluctuation of foreign currency. Besides, to manage the issue of higher minimum wage set by the government, Dutch Lady should strengthen their human resource management to make sure the needs of organization is aligned with the employee action. To overcome high raw material costs and currency depreciation, we suggest Dutch Lady to have offshore investing by diversifying their currency exposure in other asset classes where the currency is different. Next, we propose a marketing strategy which divide into short term and long term. For short term, Dutch Lady should implement market development and product development strategy. For long term, Dutch Lady should implement horizontal integration and brand expansion.